The United Kingdom's NNL report correctly identifies the advantages offered by molten salt reactors in its molten salt reactor section. That is, page 23. However, the full implications of molten salt reactors are not examined throughout the different sections. For example, proliferation risk and reprocessing are covered as if spent fuel containing uranium-233 will be shuttled between the reactor, a reprocessing facility, and a spent fuel repository. That is not the case. Uranium-233 is both created and fissioned into energy inside the reactor itself. Unlike solid fuel alternatives, what emerges from the molten salt breeder does not represent a proliferation risk, nor a reprocessing challenge. A single part of the NNL report illustrates how this should have gone. Page 18. Recycling U-233 presents some difficult challenges in fuel fabrication because of the daughter products from U-232. Problems, challenges, technological barriers, technical risk. And then, at the bottom, MSR is unique in that it avoids these problems entirely with no fuel fabrication required. The NNL report could easily have a caveat carved out in every section regarding molten salt reactors. MSR impacts every aspect of the thorium fuel cycle, including proliferation.